to the memorial service for the man who was the first chief minister for the Turks and Caicos. DeAndre Hamilton has more on the service and the big name speakers who were there. Over the weekend, a holiday of commemoration in the Turks and Caicos Islands as the country remembered the national hero, the first chief minister, and one of the world's youngest elected country leaders, the right most excellent James Alexander George Smith McCartney, better known as Jags. <laughs> Just as big as his name is his legacy, and the effervescent message he lived and died for was one of unity. It was echoed at the memorial service by keynote speaker Devon Cox, a South Caicos native and energy industry leader, a vice president at Fortis TCI. There will always be forces that seek to divide. However, as leaders and members of society, we have a responsibility to rise above these divisions and work towards a unified future. A community that is united can achieve great things. Before the memorial, which took place in his island of birth, Grand Turk, children across the Turks and Caicos remember Jags, who would have been 77 years old now. It is past time that we put these tools, which each of us have assimilated from our perceptions of this reality to the service of our people and our country. There's a lot that has been done. There's a lot to be done. And I think Turks and Caicos Islanders, you have every right to be proud of yourselves. Let us not tear each other down through words and actions, but let us work together through love, through respecting one another, and in partnership with each other, as we work to keep our nation's first national hero's dreams alive. Some of his own children, now adults, making their own contributions to the development of the TCI's public sector, laid wreaths with other national figures. Your goodness is fine. 